Hey everybody, welcome back to Sonia's Sweet and Spicy Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you an amazing jalapeno popper, like not one that you've probably had before. We're gonna be using Sonia's Sweet and Spicy, some fresh sweet peppers, some attitude, and some magic in the kitchen. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Sonia Sweet and Spicy Kitchen. My name is Sonia Paz and I am your spice master here today. I am gonna show you a recipe that is so amazingly yummy, you are gonna die. But before we get started, I just wanna remind you that um, subscribe to our channel, go ahead down here, subscribe, like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, follow us wherever, and be sure to check the website because now we are almost at 25 retailers that carry our product. You have no idea how exciting this is. And I've also got a lot of things coming down the pike as far as more exciting updates. And also don't forget that when you do order our product, you get one of our serving suggestions on how best to use the product. Of course, you can always check here on the YouTube channel. That's kind of the point. But if you're giving this as a gift, you get one of our jars, you give one of these suggestion cards, but it just gives the person receiving the gift or our jalapenos an idea of what to look forward to. Some instant ideas so that they can get started on serving this magic in their kitchen. So today, um, I also have a couple of quick, quick announcements. Um, Many of you know that my dear father, George, passed away a couple of weeks ago, and it has been certainly an impact on our family, but I wanna give my dear dad a shout out here, hey Papa Georgie, on the channel because it was my father who always gave me the, the, gave me the tenacity, gave me the permission to be tenacious gave me the love of trying different foods out from all different countries to all different nationalities to, um, you know, to beyond. So if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have been this daring or would have tried to push the envelope to be courageous enough to really get myself going, not only in my art business, but in my new um, sweet and spicy adventure. So, Many thanks to my dear dad, George Paz, for allowing me to just be me as a small kid up until who I am today. So many, many thanks to him and um, love you pops, miss you so much. So I know that he was really excited about this product and that I always had to make sure that there was at least two jars in the pantry at their house so that when they had people come over, he could always brag about me and put this, uh, put the peppers to work. So today's recipe is going to be, I'm going to call it Papa Georgie Jalapeno Poppers. And this is um, a recipe that is super easy. Uh, yet again, we're using cream cheese and we're using Sonia Sweet and Spicy. And we're going to be introducing into the mix sweet, fresh um, little bell peppers. These are the sweet ones. You can get them at a bag at your, at your grocer. I do want to mention, I will also mention this during the prep of this, is that if your grocer doesn't have these specific type of little mini sweet peppers, and do not, do not, and I give you fair warning, do not mistake these for habaneros or ghost peppers or anything like that, because the, yeah, you will, you'll be in for a real, real awakening. Um, yeah, just saying. So these will come in a bag. They'll usually be identified in the grocer. They come in a bag that says, uh, you know, sweet peppers, and um, you know, they're on the sweet side. So they're not hot at all. Uh, what's gonna give this recipe a bit of zap is going to be the mix of the sweetness of that and the Sonia Sweet and Spicy, and some, um, we've got some smoked paprika, and we've got our cream cheese. We're gonna use our blender to get the, uh, jalapenos all crushed up and mashed up so we can add the cream cheese to that. And we're just gonna jump into it and let's get started. So the first thing is I'm gonna name off the ingredients again. We're gonna have about, oh, about a third cup of Sonia's Sweet and Spicy jalapenos. 
and we're going to end up taking these and we're going to blend them up because we want them pureed. We want them super, super chopped up. I'm not going to do this chopped up like what we've done in the past. I'm going to blend them up really, really fine. Um, we're going to add that to our cream cheese and then we're going to add a little bit of paprika. So we're going to use some of this paprika during the recipe and then we're going to end up using it after. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my jalapenos and I'm gonna just drop those right in. Um, if you can, don't put too much juice in there because you're not gonna need that much juice for this recipe. Um, it's gonna come naturally when you blend this in, so we'll just get this going. I'm just gonna pulse this out. Mm, I can smell this already, it's awesome. So I'm gonna blend that up. Perfect. Awesome. Mm, 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 mm. All right, can't forget to do the happy food dance. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my cream cheese, just make sure that your cream cheese is pretty soft, so you're gonna just put that right into the bowl. And then um, we're gonna just add in, I might use my spoon. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna just pour this right in there. And um, you're not using so much, you're not going to end up blending so much that um, I like the blender versus having to just put it in the food processor because when you use the food processor, well, mine comes out in a million pieces. So it's really hard for me to have to justify unless I'm doing some ginormous uh, preparation for something else. So get all these out. Perfect. Put this over there. And then you're going to just take this and if you can see, it's pretty mushed up. It almost looks like baby food, but that's what you want because this recipe is gonna call for that. Um, and just start, just gonna start getting this all mashed up here together. So as you can see, this is really, nicely mixed up together. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pop this in the refrigerator and let it get a little bit um, firm and then we're gonna go ahead and slice up our small little peppers and then we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I've got my peppers uh, already washed and everything and I'm gonna show you how I cut these. So what you're gonna end up doing is, I mean, you can very well cut the top off here and serve it that way. But I always like to add a little bit of interest and something that just gives somebody a, a, it's a, it's a little handle is I'm gonna cut right through, right through the stem. So you end up with nice little stems there and then you can just take this with your fingers and just remove the, um, the seeds. I should have a bowl, but I'm just gonna do this. And remove the seeds out just with your fingers and um, any of the other little uh, membranes in there so that you have just a nice little well of where you're gonna end up stuffing these and putting your peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these up and then we're gonna clean them out and we're gonna put them on our pan and we'll be back. Alrighty, so what I wanna show you now is that I'm gonna add, I've got my I've got my mixed up um, cream cheese with my uh, blended jalapenos. I'm gonna add in a couple pinches of the smoked paprika. Just, it's gonna add a little bit of a unique nutty smoky flavor. And the rest of this we're gonna end up adding afterwards, we're gonna sprinkle it over. So just add that in there, mix it up. You can mix it up now, you can mix it up whenever, uh, whenever you're initially mixing this uh, entire thing. So we're going to start spooning these out into the jalapenos. Now what I do is I just take my spoon, just a teaspoon or something, and I don't put this in a pastry bag or do anything fancy. I'm just going to put these in so that there's just a nice, it's covered just like this, a nice little mound on there, and that you fill the pepper in as much as you possibly can. Ones that are like this, just just widen that open up a little bit, dish that right in there, and then just use your spoon to spread it all on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of these and we'll be right back. 
Okay, I've gone ahead and I filled these up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paprika and I'm just gonna slowly just sprinkle that on each one of these. And while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna tell you that um, if you don't have these little sweet peppers, uh, they're called mini sweet peppers. If you don't have these at your grocery, you can actually take a, um, you know, a regular bell pepper or a, uh, you know, red be bell pepper, orange bell pepper or yellow bell pepper, and you can just cut those into wedges and do the same thing. You don't need to have this if they're not available in your market where you live. Um, so there you go. This is, oh boy, this is awesome. And I'm just gonna sprinkle the rest of that on there. This smells amazing because I've got the jalapenos here. I've got the smoked paprika. Um, if you don't have smoked paprika, go ahead and just add um, just regular paprika. And um, I'm gonna set the oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna put them in the oven for about 20 minutes just so that they're nice and uh, nice and warmed up and baked and you'll see, um, I'll show you how we, how it looks and um, get going on that. All right, we are back and I've got these peppers sitting here and oh my God, if you could smell my kitchen, you'd be dying right now. Dying of hunger because it smells amazing. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab these and I'm gonna plate these up on my platter very carefully. And while I plate these up, I just wanna to mention to you that this is something that you can certainly prepare ahead of time. You don't have to um, be rushing around. You can blend those jalapenos up, you can add them and uh, whip them right up into that cream cheese the night before, uh, get these ready and even stuff them, put them in the refrigerator if you have room in your fridge and get everything going before your guests arrive. This is something that is one of the things that I love to make when um, going to a potluck or a ladies night out. In my neighborhood, we do a monthly um, game night, which is really fun, and uh, everyone brings a, an appetizer, a dish to share, or whatever. And um, this is something that when I go and I bring this recipe, all I bring home is my empty platter. So it's definitely something. Um, I always like to serve on a colorful platter like this. What you can also do, if you would like to, is you can add a, um, you can put a, a garnish of some of the jalapenos on there. But I'm gonna sort it right now, I'm just gonna embrace the beauty of this, um, of this platter with all these different colors. Now, how I like to present these is, I just like to get this right on the platter with um, all the colors that I have going on. You can use a white platter. You don't have to you know, do anything super fancy. This is something that is speaks on its own. The smell, the flavors, and everything is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and just try one of these out. As you can see, when you have the little stem on there, you've got um, just kind of a nice little handle for people to be able to eat that, and um, we're gonna give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. This is one of my favorite things. This is something that I'm definitely gonna be eating tonight, probably for dinner instead of pre-dinner. But this, you've got the beautiful flavors of, of your sweet pepper. And then you've got that nice little pop of burst of heat and the sweetness of Sonia Sweet and Spicy. And unlike other jalapeno peppers that you've had that are the full extreme strength of that actual jalapeno that you're that you're stuffing. Um, this has a nice subtleness. So even people who don't like a lot of spice end up loving this because it's not overwhelming. It's not so hot where you're going to end up burning your taste buds off and it's enjoyable. Hey, I'm not out there to compete with the fire eaters out there. They've got their own market. What I'm doing it's getting Sonia's sweet and spicy into your hands, onto your taste buds, into your kitchen. Now, like I said, we have um, presents on our website, soniasweetspicy.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash soniasweetspicy, and instagram.com soniasweetandspicy. So that is it today, everyone. A quick and easy recipe that you can do the prep time is very minimal. The cook time is 20 to 25 minutes 
at 375 degrees in your oven, top shelf, on a rack, in the pan with some foil. Uh, put a little uh, um, olive spray on there before I did that just to make sure nothing sticks. But uh, this is amazing. I am so glad to be able to have shared this with you today. Do check out our websites to see if there is a location near you where you can order from. I'm very excited to mention that my um, um, Derek and Angela with Northwoods Cheese out in Verona, Wisconsin is now our official distributor. They have received their product and they are ready to rock and roll with sending some spicy goodness your way. So that's it. Sonia Paz, Sonia's Sweet and Spicy Kitchen. I'm gonna finish this bad boy up and I hope that you all have a great weekend and stay tuned for next week because I have a guest in the kitchen and we are gonna rock and roll some serious yummy cocktails. So peace out y'all, take care, bye.